Welcome guys to my FL Studio tutorial today and I'm going to show you how you can install the Silent One plugin in FL Studio. It's a VST plugin and um, this video is basically to show you how you can install any VST plugin at all in uh, FL Studio. It doesn't matter if it's a premium plugin or a free plugin, the steps are supposed to be pretty much the same. So here I'm on the uh, official linardigital.com website and um, I've, I just clicked on the download link right here and um, it's giving me two options to download for Windows or for Mac. So I'm on Windows so I just need to select this one. Um, actually before the video I made a quick check so I've already downloaded the file right here and uh, it's basically a compressed folder. It doesn't matter where you save it. I like to save my stuff for my um, uh, FL Studio tutorials in this uh, folder but then you can save it wherever you want so you just need to double click on this compress folder then you extract all and once you do so you're gonna get access to this uh, setup application file so you're gonna have to double click on it alright and then once you double click on this you're gonna have to confirm whether you want to go ahead with the installation or not so you just press yes it's a very safe file and then you're gonna have this uh, pop-up box um, it's best to close all other applications before you continue so you click next you accept the agreement you leave your default options I'm on a 64 bit Windows version so these are the default options I have and then um, just uh, ignore these fields uh, these two bottom fields right here but then this is the one that you can change if you want um, it depends where you want your data folder to be installed um, I think I'm cool with the default option so you can just leave it like that and then you press next and it's gonna go ahead with the uh, installation when you go to your PC's program file section you're supposed to see a folder with the name Steinberg inside so just uh, double click it that's the folder that contains the necessary file for your Silent One VST plugin. So you're going to see this VST plugins subfolder. And when you open this, you're going to see an application extension, Silent One.dll. That's the, the file that FL Studio needs to be able to access in order for you to be able to use the, the Silent One VST plugin within FL Studio or your FL Studio products. So um, here I'm going to open FL Studio now. All right, so um, once we install Silent One, we're supposed to see it in this section under VST. So right now I can hit Control F, or I can also use that arrow right here and go to Smart Find and type Silent One, or simply Silent, and there's nothing right here because we've not installed it yet. So what we can do simply, or what we have to do, is just go to the menu section at the top, uh, select the Add tab, go to More Plugins, because right now we can't see Silent One anywhere in our list here. So you just go to Add More Plugins. Okay, this is going to pop up. Um, you can also access it from here, actually, Add, and then More Plugins. And then you can type Silent One and you can see there's nothing because we've not installed it yet. So just click on this Manage Plugins button right here. And then you're going to see all your plugins right here. In my case, I have 130 plugins which I, I purchased. Some of them came with my uh, uh, FL Studio Signature Edition. And once again, let's confirm there's no Silent right here. So um, what you need to do is simply click on that folder right here. All right, there's, there's a folder and then there's a plus icon at the bottom right of it. So um, once you, you click on that button, you just need to make sure that you, you select that path right here that you can see. Uh, where is it? That's just the folder that we had access to previously. So you just need to make sure that you you select that path, your PC, Windows, Program Files, Stenberg, and VSC plugin, all right? All right, so back to FL Studio. I'm going to uh, go where we were again, Manage Plugins, right? 
All right, so once you select your path right here, which is Steinberg, and then uh, VST plugins, and you press OK right here, you're supposed to have this section uh, lighted up in white. Um, I already went through that process before I registered this video. That's why you already see it there. But in your case, it's not going to be visible. So it's only going to show up after you click on that icon and then you select your your plugin search path. So it's not going to be grayed out. It's going to be in white after you add it. You can't see everything in full, but then you know that this is Steinberg and this is VSC plugin. So after you add it and it's highlighted in white like the other search path, um, you can try typing silent here and you're not going to see anything. And that's because of one thing. You need to scan your list again. That's not a list that is updated in real time. So if you want to get access to the new plugins that you've just added, where there's one plugin or multiple plugins, uh, you need to check, um, make sure that these are checked. All right, some people have these first two options unchecked, but then I like to scan everything over again. So I also have this verify plugins option checked, and then you click on start scan. All right, so I'm going to click on this right now, and you can see that here at the bottom, I have some um, information scanning. It's telling me exactly what plugin is scanning right now, uh, the file, um, it doesn't give you an estimated uh, completion time, all right? So you can't really know how long it's going to take. But usually it doesn't take uh, really long. Um, I even have over a hundred plugins, but then uh, this process, I would say, uh, takes a uh, an acceptable amount of time, all right? So just be patient and it will be done in a moment. All right, so that process is done now. Um, we can scroll all the way down. And we see here is our silent plugin right here. In case it's not listed at the bottom on your on your interface, you can just type silent one. And this time, even if I just type sil or whatever, you can see it at the top right here. Uh, this is some information. The type is a synth. Uh, you can also check this button, uh, this option to set it as one of your favorite VSTs. All right, but. I think in my case, I'm good, so I'm just going to close that. And then now, uh, if I go to VST right here, I can see Silent 1, 64 bits. That's what I installed. If you don't see it, you can always go right here in this uh, arrow down. And then you go all the way down to uh, the Refresh Plugin List Fast Scan option. All right, it's going to scan everything. Uh, you're going to have this pop up. Don't worry. It's just a message that tells you um, what you're doing basically So you click OK and then this time around you should be able to see it. All right silent one So I'm going to add this right here It's loading And then here is our silent one VSC plugin uh, These you have these crossed out because this is just the demo. So um, I think half of the uh, uh, capabilities or cancelled out in the demo. Unless I purchase it, I won't be able to use this. But then this is fine because I think uh, the demo itself is quite uh, robust. But um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you, you have an idea now of uh, how to install uh, VST plugins in your FLCU application. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, VST plugins because um, it's always good to have some free space, you know, if you're not using something, you might as well remove it. So I'm going to show you how to do that in, uh, in two ways. All right. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you liked it, please um, like this video. Uh, drop your questions in the comment section. If you liked it, please let me know and uh, make sure you subscribe. All right. Uh, I'm going to have way more FL Studio tutorials as often as I can. So please make sure you subscribe and you turn on your notifications, all right? In the meantime, catch you next time. I think that's it. Cheers. Bye.